Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, my Facebook group. If you're in my Facebook group, some of these may look familiar. I have 50 unexpected big money bolos that I'm gonna share with you guys. These are items that I have shared in my Facebook group that most of you probably missed or you clicked on it, you checked it out, but you never went back to see what the item actually finally sold for. I know I do that all the time. So I'm going to share with you all 50 of these bolos. We're going to check them out together. These are items that some of them may be harder to find. Some of them you may be able to pick up at a garage sale. Who knows? But if we don't know about them, we'll never find them. So let's check them out. This is how I learn. This is how I research. And this is how I teach, educate, help others learn. I don't know what you want to call it, but I figure if I'm doing the research, I might as well help you guys. So let's get started here with the first item. Okay. So Rushton, these are the plastic rubber, not plastic, um, rubber face. So rubber face, let me see if I can find you a tag. Rushton is definitely, definitely, whoa, I don't know what's happening there. Uh, definitely a bolo. I don't know if they have a tag, I guess. But um, again, not an ideal picture with all of the, like, is that like an ice cream shop, a liquor store? I'm not sure what's happening back here. But um, somebody who enjoys making drinks or something. Anyway, this rare vintage Rushton frog sold for $713 with 42 bids and the buyer paid shipping. Definitely be on the lookout for Rushton. They are big money bolos. This one is super cool. It's from 1967. It's a vintage make mine Marvel badge button pin. Uh, it's a fan club pin and it sold for $139.50 and the buyer paid the shipping, or I'm sorry, the seller paid the shipping on that one. $139.50, you guys, it's a pin, it's a pin, it's awesome. The next item is this never removed from box, live action, crispy, beautiful, rare, hard to find, factory sealed Barbie. So live action, Christy, I dance to your favorite music, I pose more than ever before. There's lots I do just like you. So I'm not really sure. Start the action. Tap my touch and go stand. So she's interactive in some way. But she is a big money bolo. Check it out. $622, you guys. Buyer paid shipping. The next item is this 1980 signed Xavier Roberts soft sculpture little people cabbage patch redhead. So here's the tag and there's the behind with the signature. There's the hair sold for $510, you guys, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage college football program, Army versus Notre Dame, November 26, 1932, Yankees Stadium, sold for $190.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage Hudson's Bay wool blanket. It's a pea coat, and the Hudson's um, blankets are also a bolo. But this pea coat sold for one hundred and fifty-seven fifty, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage Avon Advent calendar with a replacement mouse. So it looks like this is not the original mouse that maybe somebody made it, and. That's the calendar. Let's see what it says. I purchased this item at an estate sale. Um, oh, yep, they made, so I made a replacement one. They did a pretty good job. It's cute. Uh, this still sold for $143.50 in the buyer paid shipping with a handmade replacement mouse. The next item are these bubble lights, 16 Noma bubble lights. Uh, sold for $93, 45 bids in the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage ideal Tammy's family boy, uh, bud doll boyfriend from 1965. I really like this one because I would not have known that this guy was worth this kind of money. 
Uh, so you can see there, Ideal Toy Corp sold for $625 and the buyer paid um, the shipping. It's even got an issue with the heel. Um, they're showing the hands. The feet look pretty good other than the heel. Yeah, amazing, right? The next item is this battery operated Japan toy, Jolly Chimp Monkey. Um, I, I would have taken it out of the box. The pictures are not great. It looks like somebody who just kind of has a bunch of stuff sitting around and they just threw it up on eBay without much care. And it sold for $198. Still a bolo, but they may have gotten more had they put a little more time into the photos. The next item is this Merry Christmas, Happy New Year vintage Pyrex casserole bowl. Uh, it sold for $1,900, you guys. Some Pyrex goes for crazy money. A lot of it is bread and butter. You have to be really careful with Pyrex. Um, it's really confusing too because certain patterns, certain bowls, it, it really varies. Join a Pyrex group before you list on eBay. Ask them. Uh, Stife. Stife is a bolo. Vintage Ralph Lauren is a bolo. Um, definitely be on the lookout for both. Uh, this bear is a Stife Ralph Lauren bear. And I'm actually surprised it didn't go for more because some of some of those uh, can go for big money and both items are collectible on their own. So together you would think it would be even crazier, but it sold for $292, 52 bids, buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Elf Queen Cutie Vintage Polka Dot Snowman Knee Hugger Pixie Elf Japan. Super cute. It's got the little polka dots. It's adorable, you guys. Um, I've not seen one like this. It sold for $149.50, 52 bids, free shipping. The next item is just odd. Um, yeah, it just amazes me. Look at it, guys. Look at the condition. I mean, creepy. I think it's creepy. Not saying it's haunted. I just think it's creepy looking. Um, but it's an antique wooden Sholin Hut doll, molded hair and bow, well-loved, shows wear, sold for $822. $822, you guys. And there's the marking on the back. It's hard to see. The next item is another very strange one. It's a vintage, very old 10 inch Mr. Bingle plush snowman doll. Christmas icon in New Orleans. I'm so confused by this. Can somebody please enlighten me as to why this sold for $530? I don't understand. 83 bids. Let's see how many unique bidders. Um, 10 unique bidders. I don't know. I just don't know. I'm going to check something here. Bingo. So if you go into the seller's um, feedback, this is a way to check. And it's not like a sure way because a lot of people don't leave feedback. Um, but you can see here, this is the item, you guys. You can search feedback by title now. <coughs> Excuse me. It, sorry, I, I've been doing videos for like a couple hours now. <coughs> oh, this person went above and beyond to ship this item to me. He was so nice. So positive feedback. It sold and was paid for. The next item is this vintage Pez Sheriff candy dispenser. No feet, made in Austria. Sold for $177.50. <coughs> oh my gosh, I can't pause the video. So sorry. Um, I do have a video on Pez. If you want to learn more, definitely go check out that category video. Uh, some of them go for big money. This is really cool. This is a set of four Bakelite bird napkin rings. So cool. Sold for $157.50, 44 bids, buyer paid shipping, and I just released a video on how to test for Bakelite. So definitely check that out if you want to learn. It's super easy. It's cheap um, to buy the tube of stuff, and you can put um, that it's been tested in your listing, and that definitely helps. WWF LJN Bret Hart Pink Pants Close to Mint action figure. Check him out. Check him out. Check him out. He sold for $331 and the uh, free shipping, free shipping on that one. 
The Floby. Um, this bolo has been around for a long time. It has been a bolo. I'm guessing it's always going to be a bolo, but the Floby, as seen on TV. And if you want to see more as seen on TV bolos, I do have a category video for that. This one sold for $250, $15 in the buyer paid shipping. Star Wars action figure lot. So tell me, how would you have sold these? Would you have lotted them or would you have sold them? individually. Um, do you think a collector was buying this or do you think a, um, a reseller sold for $181 and 50 cents buyer paid shipping. And I always wonder that when I see lots of toys, vintage Hasbro little miss, no name doll from 1965. Very odd looking. She's got a big tear. Her hands are out. Like, I don't know what to do. This is what it says on the back. And she sold for $140 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vein, rainbow, rainbow bright and twink um, in the box. Sold for $127.50 plus shipping. I'm surprised that didn't go for more, honestly, with that. I mean, the box looks still bright and nice. I probably would have had more um, photos personally. Okay, so this is a vintage kitsch, kitschka. I don't know how to say it. Granny Miss Cutie Pie cookie jar from Japan. Lefton Napco. Super cute. Um, sold for $710.52. And the buyer paid shipping. What do you guys think about this? Would you have ever guessed that it would sell for that much money? I like how they did the little arrows pointing to the little defects. Great pictures. Vintage Beatles uh, blow-up dolls sold for $257 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage Radco triple reflector, triple layer, a rad Radco Christmas ornament. They didn't even put Christmas ornament in the title. I think that's important, but apparently not because it's still sold for $197.50. Uh, 56 bids, buyer paid shipping. The next item is this rare vintage early sample size box of soap detergent unopened great advertising piece sold for $366 buyer paid shipping had 56 bids. The next item are these uh, fire King black polka dot mixing bowls. It's a lot of two and they sold for $280 and the buyer paid shipping. I don't know what this $10 is. I think that's kind of odd. The next item are these vintage 1960s Volkswagen Italian Market 11 piece gift set. It is rare, obviously. Um, it's got to be rare if it's selling for over $1,000. Um, so I'm confused because, hmm, I know sometimes they do that where they put some pictures of maybe their other listings. Like I, Maybe they're selling these things separately. Oh, I see. They took the three cars out. I don't know. Weird. Anyway, either way, it still sold for $1,413.88. The next item is this vintage 1979 Lord of the Rings Knickerbocker figures, a lot of five, sold for $960. 61 bids, buyer paid shipping. So I am guessing this is a hard to find lot. I don't know. Let me know if you guys know anything about this in the comments. The next item is this vintage beer can. Uh, Stanton Island, New York. It is rusty and not in great condition. And it's still sold for $120.50. There are collectors for old beer cans for sure. This is a huge lot of glass seed beads. And one of the questions when I posted this in my Facebook group was, how do you know they are vintage? And my answer is, I have no idea other than maybe the packaging might show like, you know, how you can tell by the stickers that something is vintage. Um, does anybody know the answer to that question? Uh, these sold for $650 and the buyer paid shipping. That is amazing. The next item is this vintage mega mega Thor complete action figure from 1974 sold for 152 50 and the free shipping on that one. 
The next item is this vintage rare Christmas Sleepy Bambi Reindeer Plastic Red Curl Japan Coral Japan figure. Um, I love selling these little deers. I pick them up whenever I see them. Uh, they can be plastic. They can be flocked. I don't care if it's a reindeer, I pick it up. Uh, they range from bread and butter up to big money. This one sold for $51 and the buyer paid shipping. Here's another Pez. Again, really need to work on that background. It's distracting. It's hard to see, but it didn't hurt this listing at all. It still sold for $695.52 and free shipping on that one. These are really cool. Um, eight vintage original Noma Christmas candle light plastic halos. Another item that I did not know about that uh, uh, there were a lot of these that had sold for big money. So definitely be on the lookout. They are a bolo. Sold for $82 with 21 bids, buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage Christopher Radko. Um, it's an ornament and it sold for $260. And you can see here this little uh, tag that hangs from the top is Radko. $260, 63 bids, buyer paid shipping. These mid-century uh, Christmas plush red reindeer made in Japan. How cute are these? I actually sold a couple of these. Mine were not exactly like these, but they were similar and mine were a bolo. Also, these sold for $117.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this uh, Ward Antique Glass-Eyed Mallard Duck hand-carved and painted working decoy. Sold for $471, 71 bids, buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Vintage Oil Zoom Motor Oil. Uh, it says Court Full Crystal Lid. Uh, it says Racer, M-A Racer. Uh, $265, 23 bids, buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Lisa Frank Cheerleader Bears Duffel Bag. It's got a panda, a teddy, a koala. Hard to find. You guys, if you can find Lisa Frank and you can get it for a decent price, it's a good idea to pick it up. Most of the time, if it's vintage Lisa Frank, you're going to make some money because Lisa Frank is highly collectible. This sold for $192.50 in the buyer paid shipping. 77 bids on that one. Two vintage Chinese Oh, I can never say this word. Colossian? Am I saying it right? Let me know. You guys will let me know. They're vases. It's a lot of four vases sold for $202.50, 38 bids, buyer paid shipping. Okay, so this is the American Girl Nutcracker Sugar Plum Fairy Outfit Limited Edition No Doll. Sold for $145 with 39 bids. Definitely be on the lookout for American Girl outfits. If they are retired and hard to find, they will go for a good amount of money. And if not, they make a great bread and butter. The next item is this UPS hat. Now I know that if it's a current UPS hat or a police officer hat, from what I understand, you cannot sell those items. This is under, um, they just have it under hats. This is from the 1960s. Obviously UPS guys are not wearing hats like these now. So Maybe that's why this is okay. I Maybe I'm wrong on that. I was thinking there was some rules for uh, government workers and um, uh, like firefighters, police officers, uh, mailmen, uh, just because people can dress up and, you know, disguise themselves as those people. I don't know. If you guys know the rules on that, comment below. Let me know. Um, it's really probably something I should look up and share with you guys. I just never have. I've, I guess if I had an item and I wanted to list it, I would dig deeper into it. But I don't know. This is vintage from the 60s, so I'm guessing it doesn't apply. This sold for $401, buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Mule Head Stock Ale Beer Can. It sold for $500. $46.84 with 41 bids. How amazing is that? That's crazy. Buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage Kuji, Kugi. Ah, I don't know how to say it. Okay, I think I've always said it wrong. I always say Kuji, but I think it's Kugi, which Kuji just sounds cooler than Kugi. 
or maybe, I don't know. Anyway, you guys let me know. This is a sweater. It's a men's sweater. It's a 1X and it sold for $366 and the buyer paid shipping. That brand is definitely a bolo. So this is a vintage Elizabeth Taylor for Avon, you guys, for Avon. So you can see it says LT there. Uh, let's see if it says, and then on the back it says Avon. Sold for $119.50, buyer paid shipping. Awesome. Um, so this is a fireman. Again, it's a vintage hat. Um, they're not wearing ones like this nowadays. So I'm guessing that's why this is okay to be listed. Sold for $610, buyer paid shipping. Uh, so this is a Patek Philippe wooden watch box. So it's just the box. And I know that is a higher end watch. So this is somebody who maybe has the watch, bought it pre-owned, needs the box. They paid $210.50 for this. This is another item that is questionable. I have heard people say that you're not allowed to list like Rolex boxes and stuff like that. I have never confirmed that. Um, if you know for sure and can comment below, that would be great. Um, I know that people sell them all the time. That does not mean that it is okay. So definitely do your research before you list an item like this. Um, to me, it's like, it's tough because the collector needs the box, but I understand for the people that are selling like the fake Rolexes, you know, you don't want that to give them a real box, then they can push the item off as real. I don't know. It's kind of like a fine line where I see both sides of it, but um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Put your uh, thoughts in the comments. The next item is this rare antique vintage triple claw hammer, unusual tool sold for $576.26 and the buyer paid shipping, or I'm sorry, the seller paid shipping. It was free shipping, 39 bids. And this vintage 70s gunny sax, I think that's how you say it. Jessica San Francisco Prairie Prom Boho Maxi Dress, uh, sold for $305. These gunny sax dresses are definitely a bolo. If you ever find one, you're probably gonna, have a big money bolo because they do really, really well. And you know, the tag, I just look at that and I don't see vintage, but it's vintage. So have you guys ever sold a gunny sacks dress? And if so, was yours a big money bolo? All right, you guys, let me know what you think about this video in the comments. Do you like it? Do you want me to keep doing these? Um, I did three of them, so I will be doing at least three. I'm going to wait for you guys' feedback. Um, and decide if I want to do another one. I feel like they're great. It was fun for me to go back and see what the items actually sold for and to kind of um, reflect because many of them, I shouldn't say many, um, I would say I looked at like 150 and I would say probably 10 or less said that the item was relisted. And when um, it says that, that typically means that the buyer did not pay and the seller relisted the item. So um, there were some that were non-payment. Of course, that always happens. You guys know how it is. And I always feel so bad for the sellers because you know, like when they're getting all those bids, they're like, yes, yes, yes. And then they don't pay. It's a bummer. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. There's going to be some videos popping up here, here. That's going to be my subscribe button. Click there if you're not subscribed. And please leave me a comment. I don't know why, but I never get comments on my videos. I shouldn't say never, but I compare my videos to other videos. And I'm like, they get so many comments. Nobody ever comments. But I did ask some questions. So I'm hoping you guys comment. And if not, just comment. I made it to the end of the video. As always, thanks for watching. And go check out my Facebook group. Links in the description. And there's lots of other good info down there. So check it out and I'll see you at the next one.